In this video, we are going to have a look at agents. The main difference between an agent and a chain is that agents are task oriented. This means that we can give our agent an instruction and the agent will use the LLM to figure out what tasks need to be executed to complete its objective. We can also provide a list of tools that the agent can use to complete these tasks. I first want to show you a limitation with our chatbots and we will then have a look at how agents can be used to solve these problems. Let's have a look at our simple chatbot. This is similar to the chatbots that we created in the previous video. And this bot simply consists of a conversation chain, buffer memory, and the chat OpenAI model. Let's go ahead and compile this bot and chat with it. And let's ask it a question like, who won the Oscars in 2023? And we are getting the following response from the model saying that it can't give us this information as the 2023 Oscars haven't occurred yet. The reason for this is that the OpenAI models have been trained with data up to 2021. And therefore, we are asking it for information that it hasn't been trained on. And this is the first difference between agents and chains. Chains are perfect for conversational chatbots or for executing tasks like summarizing content, generating content, etc. But when it comes down to doing research, these chains are not ideal. However, this is one of the strengths of using agents. With agents, we can assign tools, for instance, the ability to Google information to the agent. And the agent will then realize that the underlying model does not have the information and it will therefore Google this information and then make that information available in the context of the conversation. Let's build our first agent. Let's go back to the dashboard. Let's click on new project. Each project requires either an agent or a chain to generate output. In order to create our first agent, let's go to nodes, then under agents, select the agent initializer node and add that to the canvas. This agent also requires an LLM to be assigned. So let's do that first. Under LLMs, let's select the chat OpenAI node and add that to the canvas. And let's connect our LLM to the agent. And let's also add our OpenAI API key. Let's leave the temperature on 0.7 and for the model name, let's select GPT 3.5 Turbo. For even better results, go ahead and select GPT-4 if you have access to the GPT-4 model. Then let's have a look at the other inputs for the agent. Optionally, we can assign a memory node, which is not necessary for this example. Next, we can assign tools to the agent. For instance, the ability to search for information on the internet, and we will assign tools in a second, but we can also select the agent type by clicking on this drop down, We can see additional information about each of these agent types by clicking on the documentation linked to this agent initializer node. And this will take you to the Langchain documentation where you can read up on what each of these agent types mean. But for this demo, we will look at the zero shot react agent as well as the conversational agent. So for now, simply leave the agent as a zero shot react description agent. Let's now assign our first tools. We can find all the available tools for our agents by going to our nodes and expanding the tools section. Within tools, we've got several options like a calculator, the math API, news API, etc. Let's look at a simple example for now. Let's add the calculator tool to the canvas and let's connect this calculator node to the tools input on the agent. The calculator node requires an LLM to be assigned to it. So if we want, we can add another LLM to the canvas and connect that to the calculator, or we can simply reuse the LLM that we currently have. To do that, all we need to do is grab this input node on the calculator and assign it to our LLM. Let's go ahead and test this agent. First, I'm going to save this project. I'm actually going to rename it as well to something like agent demo. And let's go ahead and compile this project and let's click on chat. Let's ask this agent to solve a simple math problem. Something like, what is 
four times 100. And after a few seconds, we get this response from the agent. We can see exactly what happened behind the scenes by clicking on this little chat bubble. This will give us a log to demonstrate what the agent did behind the scenes. So the agent realized that in order to solve this instruction, it said, I need to multiply four by 100. And the action that it had to take was a calculator action. The agent was intelligent enough to realize that it's got a calculator tool assigned to it. And the action indicates that the calculator tool was used. And the input for this action was four times 100, which gave us this result. Let's assign another tool to this agent. And specifically, let's give it a tool that it can use to browse the internet. Under tools, go to the search node and add that to your canvas. If we have a look at our search node, we can see that in the description it says, this node is a search engine useful for when you need to answer questions about current events. And the input should be a search query. Let's connect the search node to the agent, like so. And it's important to note that you can assign multiple tools to this tools input on the agent. The agent now has access to the calculator and the search tool. The search node also requires a SERP API key in order to work. You can get your SERP API key by going to serpapi.com and then creating a SERP API account. After signing into SERP API, you can simply copy your private API key and then add it to your search node. Let's go ahead and save this project. Let's recompile it and let's test it. Let's ask it the following question. Who is the current president of the United States? And we get Joe Biden as the answer. Let's have a look at the thoughts for this agent. First, the agent realized that the model does not have the answer for this and therefore it will use the search tool to get the answer. And the input for the search tool was the current president of the US. And that then resulted in the answer of Joe Biden. Let's try another example. How old is the current president of the United States? And we get the following answer saying the current president of the US is 80 years old. And again, let's have a look at its thoughts. And as we can see, the agent used the search tool to get this answer. Let's try another example that will combine the two tools. Let's give our agent the following instruction. Get the age of the current president of the US and times it by 100. We will now expect the agent to use the search tool to find out how old the president is and it should then use the calculator tool to do the math side of this instruction. Let's try this out. And indeed, we do get the correct answer. Let's have a look at the thoughts behind this agent. And the agent used the search tool to get the age of the president. Then it used the calculator tool to perform the math. And this way we can assign a variety of tools to our agents to perform some very advanced tasks for us. Agents are therefore ideal for building bots that need to perform research. Let's now have a look at a different type of agent. At the moment, we are using a zero shot agent, which we can see is very good at executing instructions. But let's simply say something like, hello. And the bot immediately responds with an answer, NA. And if we have a look at the logs, we can see the thoughts of the agents simply saying that this is not a question, so I don't need to take any action. In general, these agents are very action oriented and they do not make for very good conversational bots. However, we can change this slightly by changing the type of agent. So let's close this chat window and in our agent node, let's change it from zero shot to conversational react description instead. Let's save this. Let's recompile and let's chat to this bot. Ensure that the input field is set as the chat input. And let's now try to do some small talk with the agent. So let's just type something like hello. And this time we are getting a response back from the agent. Let's try something like, how are you doing? So with the conversational agent, we are able to have a bit of a conversation with the agent, but we are not able to assign prompt templates to change the personality of the bot. Just a little side note, 
if you do run into any issues where the agent cannot execute your instruction, I highly recommend changing the model to GPT-4 as GPT-4 is really good at working with agents. If you need assistance with automating processes in your business, then please reach out to my AI automation agency called cognitive.ai. If you found this video useful, please consider subscribing and liking this video. I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.